A group of seven teenagers with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago recently took home a national win, and here you see them in action, building an energy capture device. The competition theme was there is no plan, it be. <laughs> I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. Some members of the group are joining us now to tell us about the experience. We've got Dawn, Nigel, Valerie, Aaron, and Rachel. Hey guys. Hi. Can you tell us what you created? We created a rechargeable bike that can charge phones because really it's a little more like recycling. Yeah, so basically the idea really started from kids constantly coming to the front desk to, hey, can you charge my phone? Can you charge my phone? And we were thinking like, why are we constantly just charging their phone when we could probably make the energy ourselves and, you know, conserve energy. So we built the bike and we soldered some wires and learned some new things. And now the kids can plug in their phone and to get the energy, they ride the bike. Wow, well, congratulations on, you know, the award that you achieved putting all this together. Dawn, um, let's bring you into this. Tell me a little bit, uh, you know, put, put this distinction in context for me. What, was, what were the parameters and, and how rare was this win for you guys to, to actually get? So the National Keystone Project is a project that goes uh, across the world to all of the Boys and Girls Clubs. And the teens really try to solve a local problem. Um, and ours was particularly very localized. It took place within the club. Um, and so the teens uh, came up with this project by themselves. Um, and after they created it, uh, they were nominated uh, to win the top prize, the National Keystone Project. Valerie, what did it feel like when you guys won? It felt honestly really incredible because we got, we knew we got nominated, but of course, you know, having and being a team and knowing that we put so much hard work and effort into this bike and that we're getting recognized for it is honestly pretty amazing. And when we were in our seats and they said, these teams have made an electrical bike, we, we were it literally ecstatic. It was amazing. It was the greatest feeling knowing that our hard work paid off. No. We don't have the brains that you guys have, okay? So <laughs> keep that in mind as I ask you this question here. How does this um, this contraption, that's probably not a good word for it, but how does it, how does it work? Uh, I get the idea, you're pumping the, the pedals, it's charging the phone. How does it actually work? How long does it take to charge a phone from like say, you know, 5% all the way up to 100? So really, the way it charges, really depends how fast you're going. So what it does, it takes the energy that usually goes when going forward on the bike, but it transferred it into a converter, and that converter transferred it to more of a more of a more smaller current, so it actually goes to your phone. Because it's, it's actually really difficult to charge your phone, but just, it can mess up your phone really fast, but that's where you have the converter, so it can just make everything smooth. Well, I'm hoping that there's a practical effect here, and you guys have just stumbled on something that could uh, make you all a million dollars uh, of seed money just to get started. Boris. Well, tell me this, guys, um, as you make your move uh, into that world here, especially for the young girls who may be watching here that are interested in STEM, uh, this country's got a big push behind that effort. What would you say to young ladies who, uh, who may be uh, expressing an interest here, and any of you guys can take it, Valerie, uh, Aaron, Rachel? Uh, I would say, oh, I would say go for it. It was such an amazing experience to be able to do. And we as teens are the future for our next generation and the younger kids below us. So it's very important that we put what we're interested in and just run with it. So go for it if you're interested in it. Awesome. Well, Nigel, Valerie, Aaron, Rachel, thank you so much for being with us. Congrats on your victory. Bye. Thank, thank you, you so much. To learn more about Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago or to get involved and support kids and teens in your community, you can visit bgcc.org. Great to have them with us. Appreciate it, guys, and best of luck uh, onward for you guys.